Hi, this is John from Blue Tech Systems. The short video today on the first US install 10 gigabit per second RF link. We go back to Chicago, Illinois and revisit our customer Ozinga. For the first time around, we put in a free space optic system that simply couldn't handle the gusts of wind. But this time, went with an E-band solution that had a wider beam that we could stabilize. The system itself is from NEC and it's called the iPasselink EX Advanced. The key operating components are the composite cable, the heavy duty mount, various parts of the radio, and the installation instructions. The post mount assembly is a four and a half inch OD post made out of aluminum so it will not rust. The composite cable can be ordered to length up to 300 feet, is outdoor rated, and terminated with the proper connections. The radios come in an aluminum housing, have multiple ports, and an SFP plus for 10 gig data. However, these radios do require some additional assembly. And the sites themselves, on the far side, we had a major concrete mixing plant that generated massive vibrations. So to avoid this interference and noise, we need to place the radio and the mount on a corner as far away from that noise as possible. And on the corporate side, six stories up, we need to place the radio just below the roof line to protect against the heavy wind gusts and to help us deal with foggy conditions. In the end, it took a couple tries, but we got it right. This is the right solution for this particular location. We got some strong RSL signals between the two radios and with adaptive modulation, this system will withstand any bad weather patterns that might move through. So thanks for watching. We enjoy putting in these systems, and frankly, we learn a lot. It's also a key reason why we often get hired and are one of the top resellers in North America. So why not get your own quick quote today? Go to bluetechsys.com. And until next time, this is Blue Tech John.